Hello guys and welcome to a new crypto video of the most beautiful music instrument there is, the crypto violin. Guys, I hope you have an amazing day. Today I am back with some amazing content. I hope you're ready because the XRP price is ripping and roaring and it is currently trading at $1.77, up 21% on the daily and, I never be, and I've never been so bullish in my life, guys. The past three years, we never saw this kind of price action. And the previous time we saw XRP hit $1.78, we were at all time highs of three and a half dollars in a couple days. So can we see new all time highs in a couple days for XRP? I think we can, and I want to discuss this with you today. I hope you're ready. Before we dive into the juicy and bullish content, I want to kindly remind you to subscribe to my beautiful Crypto Violin channel. Don't forget to comment in the comment section and don't worry about the scammers, your boy Crypto Violin took care of it. I'm agreeing them manually. So don't worry and be happy. That being said, let's dive into the juicy and bullish content I have for you today. Okay, first of all, let's look at the XRP price. So currently we're trading at $1.79. And this is an amazing gain, guys. In the past days, after we got the buy four signal, we moved 227%, a total of 243%, guys. And we are 11% away from the magical $2. After the $2, we will breach the $2.5 resistance area and then finally new all-time highs after an 84% rise. So we are close, guys. Today is also a very happy day. I'm organizing job interviews for butlers in order to find my future butler because I'm gonna have a butler and a million mansion because the XRP price is rising so extremely well, guys. We entered a new phase of our lives and I am happy about that. I want to congratulate you all by holding on throughout the bear market. If you are still holding XRP, I am extremely proud and bullish and you are part of the future 1%, guys. We are not here for $3 XRP. We are not here for $10 XRP. We will see massive gains, guys. Please let me know in the comment section what you think the price of XRP can do. I am very curious where your first take profit levels are. Is that $5? Is that $10? Is that $100? Is that $1,000? Is that $10,000, guys? $10,000 will be a little bit extreme for your first take profit level, but everybody their own plan so i will not say anything i want to read this juicy article from cryptonewsflash.com stating ripple executives file motion to dismiss security lawsuit as sec case falls apart and this is so true guys the sec case is crumbling down ripple the company and their executives are booking victory above victory above victory and this is looking extremely well for them. So I think any moment we can see a big dismissal of not only the case against Brett Garlinghouse and Chris Larson, but also the case against Ripple. And after we settle, guys, that's where the money is made, guys. Life-changing, life-changing wealth. I am ready. Are you guys? Let's read. Ripple CEO Brett Garlinghouse and Chairman Chris Larson have filed motions requesting a California judge to dismiss the SEC lawsuit. This comes after the two recorded yet another victory against the regulator after a judge granted their request to keep their financial records private. Ripple's top executives have filed a motion to dismiss in their legal battle with the US Security and Exchange Commission. CEO Brett Garlinghouse and Chairman Chris Larson want a New York court to dismiss the case with prejudice as the watchdog fails to prove its accusations. The latest motion comes at a time where a federal judge has dismissed the SEC's bid to have the Ripple executives submit their financial records. And you know guys, let me explain very fast what's happening here. The SEC wanted to have all the financial records of Chris Larson and Brad Gardinghouse, the Ripple executives, on what they bought, which cars they bought, where they, they spent their Christmas shoppings on. They wanted to see everything and to show at the judge, at the jury, that they were two rich guys and that they were taking money from poor investors. You know what? 
they're just very smart business people that are winning this lawsuit guys and this incredible smart judge and saw this dirty play from the sec and said no no not on my watch you will not get those financial records boom again a victory for ripple for the executives larson and garlinghouse submitted separate motions to dismiss in the southern district of new york on april the 12th in his motion, Garlinghouse observes that the SEC has made two claims against him, both of which he refuses. The first is that he violates security laws through his sale of XRP as this constitutes an investment contract. In the second, the SEC accused him of a ripple of aiding and abetting Ripple's own alleged security violations throughout unlawful XRP sales. Well guys, I don't need to be a judge to know that those two arguments are garbage and that they will be sniped down by the judge. Why do I think this? The SEC himself stated that only Ripple could have sold XRP as a security. And you know what? Brad Garlinghouse sold those XRP in his private position, not as the CEO of Ripple. He actually gained those XRP by working for Ripple. But of course, if I work for Ripple, I earn some money and then I invest in XRP. Or if I earn not money, but XRP. And when I sell this, this doesn't mean I am selling a security. And the second accusation is also not true because after multiple questions from investors, from exchanges, the SEC couldn't tell if XRP was a security and now the SEC is telling Brad Garlinghouse, yeah, but you should have known. We didn't know, but you should have known that XRP was a security. No, come on, Brad. No, no, you should have known. We didn't know, but you should. Why? Because you just simply should. Well, guys, life doesn't work like this. The SEC's second claim should be dismissed because the SEC still fails to adequately allege aiding and abetting that Mr. Garlinghouse knew or recklessly disregarded that XRP was an investment contract and that Ripple was somehow acting improperly in selling XRP. The SEC's first claim should be dismissed because under Supreme Court and Second Circuit precedent, the SEC still fails to allege that any of Mr. Garlinghouse's own sales and offers of XRP fall within the territory scope of the Securities Act. SEC's crumbling case. The SEC's interpretation of the Howey test is incorrect, Garlinghouse further alleged. However, even if it was correct, the case would still crumble, he asserts. First, despite two years of investigations, the SEC's best claim is that Garlinghouse was aware of regulatory uncertainty surrounding the treatment of some digital assets. This, he points out, proves the SEC can't plausibly allege that Garlinghouse knew Ripple's XRP sales were illegal. Boom. Second, Garlinghouse sold all his XRP on foreign exchanges and such they don't constitute security violations. Additionally, he has rightfully earned this XRP as compensation for his role as the CEO of Ripple. So the SEC doesn't have to do anything. It's like the SEC is suing me for selling some XRP. I am based on the other side of the world, guys. Brad Garlinghouse sold this XRP on foreign exchanges. The trade was not even made in the United States. So the SEC cannot say anything about those sales. The registration requirements apply only to offers of sales of securities in the United States and do not reach offers and sales made on foreign exchanges. The SEC fails to allege that Mr. Garlinghouse's sales of XRP occurred in the US. Instead, it unsuccessfully tries to point to irrelevant facts in an attempt to sidestep the domesticity requirements, the motion claims. A New York judge has ruled that the SEC has until May 14th to respond and file papers opposing the motion to dismiss. Larson and Garlinghouse will then have until June 4th to respond to anything the SEC throws their way. The recent twist comes after Judge Sarah Netburn ruled against the SEC in its bid to acquire the two executives' personal financial information. In her ruling, Judge Netburn states, the SEC shall withdraw its request for production seeking the individual defendant's personal financial records and withdraw its third-party subpoenas seeking the same. 
However, if the SEC proves that Garlinghouse and Larson lied about their XRP transaction records, it can reopen the application. XRP source following Ripple victories. XRP has been soaring in the past week as the market factors in the Ripple victories. The cryptocurrency is the fourth most valuable, now only behind Bitcoin, Ether and Binance coin. XRP has gained 27% in the past 24 hours to trade at $1.70 at press time. And actually, while we are looking now, it's $1.77. And maybe when you listen to this video, it's already $2. Who knows? Let's hope. Let's go to read some other articles. This article is from investing.com and it states how XRP can reach five juicy dollars. 2021 has seen booms throughout cryptocurrency fields, with currencies like Bitcoin experiencing a whopping 500% boom. XRP, the currency founded by Ripple Labs, is one of the most popular cryptocurrencies today, with over 1.3 million transactions in the last 24 hours. In recent months, the currency's sharp incline was higher than most predictions, breaking the $1 mark in April 2021. I always told you guys the juicy and bullish psychological $1 mark is being breached. We are on our way to magical numbers, guys. To magical, life-changing, life-changing numbers, guys. Longforecast.com, a leading name in crypto prediction, presents the most optimistic forecast we've seen so far, with a projected $3.05 per token in December 2021. Well, they will be surprised, guys. They will be surprised. $3? No. Analysts expect to see a steady incline in the value of the coin for the rest of the year, but according to most experts, the coin's long-term value depends on different factors. A favorable outcome in the SEC lawsuit Increased demand of XRP from Ripple, halting further sales of the coin. The impact of bullish trends after the value bottomed out. If you're thinking of following the trend and buying into XRP while you still can, the first thing you would have to understand are the scenarios in which the coin would peak at $5. Winning the SEC vs Ripple lawsuit. Well, then it's going to state something about the Ripple lawsuit, which we know already because we are the XRP army. We don't need me to repeat that. And then the article is reading. Predictions show a compound fulcrum pattern. Okay. And that's a very juicy name for a pattern that is going to the stratosphere. Okay. To new all time highs. That's an amazing, juicy and bullish pattern that big traders are calling for if they're looking at the XRP BTC pair. Winning the SEC lawsuit is a significant victory for Ripple, removing some of the doubt investors have with the cryptocurrency. But what about the predictive analytics? How do chartists with real world experience expect XRP to perform, giving its current sharp rate of growth? Peter Brandt, the legendary commodity trader, released a tweet with a graph of Bitcoin and XRP. He explained that both form a compound fulcrum pattern, an infrequent occurrence only seen years apart. Compound fulcrum patterns, Brent says, are extremely rare. In fact, if a chartist diagnoses this pattern more than once every few years, it is being overdiagnosed. What are compound fulcrum patterns? According to Brent, compound fulcrum patterns usually imply that a commodity is ready for an extremely trend reversal after experiencing a period of a prolonged and extended decline. Brand says that the formation of patterns such as these is a powerful bull signal. While financial analysts like this is an educated guess at the best of times, Brand's interest in XRP has undoubtedly garnered its significant exposure. Peter Brent himself has turned bullish towards XRP and has purchased large amounts of the cryptocurrency to await its massive predicted peak towards the end of 2021. He was bashing XRP, he was saying it was a shitcoin, it was going down, it was a big manipulated scam and now he's buying. He's buying above $1, almost at $2. He is buying. What happened Peter? What happened? What happened boy? XRP to reach $5, it must 
mountain momentum. Everybody noticed the 2021 bull market and this hasn't excluded XRP. The currency is trading at higher rates than it has in over two years, making a strong comeback from its decline. Experts agree that XRP reaching $5 with or within an immediate positive conclusion to the SEC's case looks pretty likely. In the short term, crypto experts expect the currency to keep rising with a potential high of up to $4. A respected trading platform for cryptocurrency predicts XRP might far exceed $5, reaching a possible high of $22 in 2021. Well, I will take that all day long, guys. I hope you like the bullish content I provided for you. Thank you for watching my videos and stay profitable, stay bullish, and let's keep this juicy coin pumping to the moon. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.